With many amiibo come many places, and in turn, many different ways to get the amiibo, whether you import it from another country or buy from your local country. If you've ever taken a look at the different country amiibos, you can tell they have some differences in their box art, and today, I'll be going over just what those differences are. Amiibo! I have brought to the table an American Bowser Jr., a European Politano, and a Japanese Toon Link. All color-coordinated green. Let's go from top to bottom. At the very top, we have the Super Smash Bros. logo in English. Directly below that, we have the character's name. In the same text on the top right-hand corner, we have the 6 and up mark, but you know we're all a little over 6 and up. Moving further down the box, we have the character's art and name centered in the middle of the art. This art and name remains the same for all the different regions. At the bottom of the American Amiibo, we have the tag that says Amiibo with the Nintendo logo next to it. Next up on display is the European Politan Amiibo. The top of the Amiibo shares the Smash Bros logo with the American Amiibo. However, the rest of the top is different. Where the character's name would be is the collection that the Amiibo is from. Because of this, the name is moved up to the top right hand corner where we no longer see the 6 and up sign, but we do get the addition of a number 38 in the series. The rest of the European amiibo basically shares the same look as the American one, well, at least for the front side. The Japanese amiibo probably strays off the most in differences. The Smash Bros logo now in Japanese text, with the American-esque name under it, but then a translation to katakana Japanese under that. And now, there's completely no text in the top right hand corner, unlike the European and American versions. Continuing down the box art, we find one of the more interesting differences in the regions. Besides the translation of Amiibo at the bottom of the American Amiibo text, like all the other ones have, it comes with an instruction pamphlet under the Amiibo. This is interesting because none of the other region boxes have this, only Japan. The side of the American box has attention warnings in both Spanish and English. The European edition has this as well, but in several other European languages. However, strangely enough, the Japanese one is just blank. Two things I forgot to mention is that the bottom of the European box art actually has warning signs of choking hazard as the English one or the American one has on the sides and that swapped out with some information about Amiibo instead. The more interesting part about these Amiibo boxes is definitely the back side, which has a lot of graphical differences between each of them. The Japanese edition has a more geometrical shape to it with everything fitting in that square, while the European version is a more beefed up version of the American one, which shows the figure and describes exactly what it does. One of the main differences is that the American version is the only one actually showcasing its functionality on the DS, and it also leaves out the bubble design that the other two boxes have. And like I briefly mentioned before, the European art has a lot of text in it detailing the amiibo way farther than the Japanese edition and the American edition does. There are also a lot of minor differences, like the gamepad on the Japanese edition being white and the gamepad on the European edition being black, as well as the American version showing that it can be used on the 3DS but only saying Smash Bros Wii U in a few places, or one place I think, and then the European version saying Smash Bros for the 3DS and Wii U without it showing use of a 3DS. That's kind of odd. The barcodes are universally located in the same spot as well. If you want to check out the differences in full detail, I'll have links to these pictures in the description so you can investigate for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you found any of this information entertaining or interesting, go ahead and drop me a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this every week, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But that's me, signing off.